Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to my League One predictions. Um, a few results going slightly against the odds, a few surprising results. Um, I was certainly surprised by the one or two of them. Um, but anyway, you know what I do, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So my first game we're going to talk about is Accrington Stanley versus Portsmouth. Accrington Stanley uh, drawing 1-1 one, one away to Tramia. Uh, great point for Accrington, I personally do think. Um, Portsmouth 2-2 two, two at home to Peterborough. A slightly disappointing day for Portsmouth, if I'm all honest. And um, I know it was third first, I can't remember where Portsmouth were um, prior to that game. Um, but, you know, you look at the circumstances that um, Portsmouth were at home and desperately needed the three points to start looking. I mean, Portsmouth were currently on 28 points for 30, uh, 31 points. Coventry on 31 and Portsmouth on 28. Um, so I really needed that win to keep the pressure on the playoffs. Um, it might just slightly eased on the um, playoff perspective from Portsmouth. Um, you know, Atkinson 1-1, one, one, good point. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 1-0 Portsmouth win. My next one is Wimbledon versus Doncaster. Um, Wimbledon 2-2 two, two away to Bolton. Doncaster 1-1 one, one, um, at home to MK Dons. Disappointing day for Doncaster. Um, you know, the lights of... You know, MK Dons have been playing brilliantly this season. Um, no disrespect to MK Dons whatsoever. Um, I have been to a stadium once, I think. Uh, I know I've definitely been there once, just can't remember if I've been there any uh, more times than that. Um, Wimble you know, Wimbledon 1-1 one, one against Bolton. Probably a great point for Wimbledon. Puts them on 17 points and three points away from MK Dons. This game's going to be interesting for quite a few reasons, I do believe. Um, and I, you know, it might not be table changer between the two clubs, but if Wimbledon do go win this week, it could put the pressure on uh, Doncaster. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 1 Doncaster win. My next one is Fleetwood Town versus Gillingham. Fleetwood Town losing 3 1 away to Blackpool. Gillingham beating Sunderland 1 0 at home. Um, slightly disappointed for Fleetwood. Um, I mean, they played Blackpool in the playoff places, fair enough. Um, but I probably expect a little bit more from Fleetwood, maybe a 3 2 2 1. Something like that, but fair play to Blackpool. Um, you know, going up against Gillingham, who did beat Sunderland, who Gillingham are currently in 14th place. Um, you know, I think that's probably a great three points. You can't moan about them, can you? Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 0 Fleetwood win. My next one is Itridge Town versus Bristol Rovers. Itridge 1-1. One, one. I can't say away to Coventry because Coventry don't play at home, but at St Andrews, um, this point day for Itridge overall. Um, Bristol Rovers the, uh, beating Southfield 4-2 at home. Great three points for Bristol Rovers. And um, Bristol Rovers are currently in fifth position. Um, I can't say comfortably in the playoffs because they are um, literally a point from dropping out. But, you know, great three points for Bristol Rovers. Um, at this point, day for Itridge, but as far as this result goes, 
I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Lincoln Town, Lincoln City, sorry, against Tramia Rovers. Um, Lincoln beating Burton Albion be 2 0 away from home. Great three points for um, Lincoln. Tramia 1 1 at home to Africa and Stanley. I think the Lincoln's goals might have slightly been changed after their, you know, coming into new management. Um, but they're doing still a good job. I'm on currently on 21 points and currently 7 points um, off MK Dons who are in the relegation zone. Lincoln got 21, MK Dons got 14 points. So, you know, it's quite still good to be a Lincoln City fan. Um, as I said, just expectations might have slightly changed um, in the boardroom. But, you know, still sit, sitting outside the relegation zone, which where all clubs want to be. Um, this game's going to be interesting for a matter of reasons. It's close in the table. Um, Tramion in 20th, Lincoln in 17th. Uh, could be a table changing game. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 0 Lincoln win. My next one is NK Dons versus Oxford. Oxford 0 0 at home to Shrewsbury. NK Dons 1 1 away to um, Doncaster. Um, you know, both teams going in this week with a point from the previous weekend. I think. It's got to be, yet again, an interesting game. I mean, OK, you've got Oxford in 7th and you've got MK Dons in 21st position. But this league this year has proven that top team, uh, bottom teams got to beat the top teams. It's got to be interesting for one or two reasons, which one got to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Peaceborough versus Bolton Wanderers. Peaceborough currently sitting in third position. Bolton obviously bottom with their points deduction. Bolton are no longer in their points deduction. Let me just make that clear. I do know that they're currently sitting on two points and currently about 12 points outside the uh, safety net as it stands. Um, but you know, let's go look at the results from the previous weekend. Bolton 2-2 at home to Wimbledon. Peterborough 2-2 away to Portsmouth. This game is vital for Peterborough, I think. Um, I mean, OK, there's only four points between Peterborough and Itchridge. But Bolton is still looking to get out that to get, get out of the relegation zone and to do that they're going to need to win games like this um, obviously it doesn't come any easier uh, there is no easy games in League 1 I personally think because I think there's no easy games in any league um, but yet again it's going to be interesting um, but I'm going to tip them off for a point apiece and I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one my next one is Shrewsbury Town versus Coventry. Um, Coventry 1 1 at St Andrews with uh, Itchridge. Shrewsbury Town 0 0 away to Oxford. Um, a great point for Coventry. Um, I think this could be interesting in a matter of one or two reasons. Um, one country to uh, sit in the playoffs another week and Shrewsbury you know to even try and put pressure on uh, teams like Coventry I mean Shrewsbury are currently on 25 points a win which would put you on 28 could put you into 10th which where Portsmouth are currently sitting so this game shall be interesting for one or two reasons, but I'm going to go for a 2-1 Coventry City win. My next one is Southend versus Rotherham United. 
Um, south end. Losing 4-2 away to Bristol Rovers. Rotherham losing 1-0 at home to Watchdale. Watchdale have not got a game this weekend. Um, this, yeah, again, I think it's going to be another slight interesting game. I mean, Wolfram are currently sitting in 8th position with 30 points. Um, but, you know, it is tight between, I say, 3rd all the way down to pretty much. Where will I take my cut-off point? So I'll go to 17th. I mean, between Watchdale, who's in 16th position, um, and Coventry City, that's nine points, three wins away. It's nothing. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 1-0 Wolverham win. My next one is Sunderland versus Blackpool. Um, Sunderland losing 1-0 away to Ginningham. Um, disappointing day for Sunderland. Um, Blackpool beating Fleetwood 3-1 at home. Sunderland are letting themselves down again. Um, if you're a Sunderland fan, please feel free to put comments down below um, saying how do you think your season is going to finish. I know we're just about to end it, well, we're in the busy Christmas period, so, you know, but it's still going to be interesting. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3 1 Blackpool win. My last one for this weekend is Wickham versus Bert and Albion. Um, Burton and Albion losing 2 0 to Lincoln City away from um, at home. Sorry, um, Wicker Wonders didn't have a game, they've had a week off. Um, you know, I think this game's got to be interesting, but I'm gonna go for a 2 0 Wicker Wonders win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. You can subscribe by clicking on my logo, which should be popping up on the screen now. And um, thanks for watching. Ciao for now.